919 FM. Broadcasting from Trinidad to the world. The Street 919FM.com. News from the Street 919FM.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919FM, and online Facebook and YouTube, sponsored by the Sea Champion. In the headlines, the Prime Minister speaks with South African President on vaccine purchase. Supermarket rush ahead of weekend shutdown. The police commissioner insists pre-curfew roadblocks necessary promises more. And internationally, no Notting Hill Carnival this year as UK sees a surge in COVID-19. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has met with President of South Africa Cyril Ramaphosa to discuss the delivery of vaccines. Rowley, who is also chairman of CARICOM, met with Ramaphosa via teleconference yesterday, the office of the prime minister said. President Ramaphosa is the African Union champion for COVID-19 vaccine strategy and acquisition. He is also the chairman of the African Vaccine Acquisition Trust, the funding mechanism through which vaccines will be made available for purchase from the African Medical Supplies Platform. Trinidad and Tobago has entered into an agreement with and already made a payment to Africa for vaccines. Dr. Rowley told a media conference on June 5th that 800,000 Johnson & Johnson vaccines were due to arrive in TNT in late August from the African Medical Supplies Platform. It was reported earlier this month that Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley had been seeking a meeting with the South African president to speed up the delivery of the vaccines. And with two days of 19-hour curfews this holiday weekend, several supermarkets and pharmacies across the island have announced that they will remain closed on both days. This has caused several people to rush to supermarkets yesterday. President of the Supermarket Association, Rajiv Dipti, said this rush was anticipated and they expect more today. Dipti believes that the weekend curfew plan was ill-conceived and supermarkets should have been allowed normal opening times. Supermarkets such as True Value, Massey Stores, West Bees, Extra Foods and JTA have posted notices that they would be closed on both days. Popular pharmacies like Superfarm and Starlight did the same. Dipti said all the supermarkets under the association between 250 and 300 agreed to close for the weekend. He said his staff is working with the protocols implemented by the Ministry of Health, but the crowds did not make it easier. He pleaded with customers to not crowd the supermarkets today. In more news, Police Commissioner Gary Griffith said yesterday that the TNT Police Service has noted online comments about the decision to implement roadblocks in the lead-up to the start of the daily curfews but maintains they will continue. The country heads into a holiday weekend with two 19-hour curfews back-to-back -back on Saturday and Sunday. Tonight, the curfew begins at 7 p.m. In a statement yesterday, Griffith said he noted the comments of social media trained law enforcement experts questioning the reason for roadblocks. Griffith said roadblocks as well as other measures are being taken to ensure the safety and security of the country. He said current decisions are being made to ensure that people stay off the road unless necessary during this time in order to minimize movement in keeping with the rationale for the state of emergency, which is to reduce the impact of COVID-19 on the population. Commissioner Griffith takes this opportunity to remind the public and make citizens aware that the roadblocks are necessary and are not to inconvenience anyone, the release stated. Internationally, there will be no Nutting Hill Carnival on the streets of London this year. The board said via a notice that the annual festival has been cancelled for the second year in a row due to the uncertainty of the COVID-19 virus. The release says this has been an incredibly difficult decision to make. The United Kingdom has seen a surge in coronavirus infections, with new confirmed cases rising above 10,000 for the first time in nearly four months as a result of the spread of the more contagious Delta variant. The Notting Hill Carnival Limited Board said, as they did in 2020, they will work on alternate events, the details of which will be announced soon. 
Last year, organizers staged an elaborate three-day virtual carnival with live streams via three channels on YouTube. And that was the 12 o'clock news on The Street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube, sponsored by The Sea Champion. Recapping the headlines, the Prime Minister speaks with South African President on vaccine purchase. Supermarket rush ahead of weekend shutdown. The police commissioner insists pre-curfew roadblocks are necessary, promises more. And internationally, no Nutting Hill Carnival this year as UK sees a surge in COVID-19. Stay tuned to The Street, 919 FM. I am Vanessa Thomas. Do enjoy your afternoon and stay safe. News from the street. News from the street. 919FM.com. Free oil change for Father's Day from Ultra Lubricants. To enter, go to Ultra Lubricants Facebook page and comment under our Father's Day oil change promotion, telling uh, them why your amazing dad deserves this fantastic gift. Uh, you will be randomly selecting 20 lucky winners from the comments. Participants must be following the social media page to qualify. Promotion runs from June 11th to June 20th. Ultra lubricants, protecting what counts. And Value Optical wishes to advise the public that all 13 branches will be open on a limited basis to continue to provide essential eye care services to you. Value Optical services are currently limited to emergency and critical eye care only and they will require to, uh, persons to make an appointment at this time. Please call 225-4865 or toll free 800-2020 for all inquiries on opening hours, eye testing availability, and how Valley Optical can assist your eye care needs. And remember, Valley Optical caring for your eyes. And check out Johnny 